a chance encounter with author Mitch Album, an unexpected challenge, and the opportunity and freedom to go on a journey. This is Rabbi Robbie, and this is my message for our young professional community. Last time we chatted, we talked about Passover and freedom, and that true freedom isn't freedom from, but it's freedom to. It's freedom to journey forward on our unique missions in this world. And I wanted to share with you a thought about that journey. About 10 years ago, I was involved with the Jewish Federation and I had the great privilege of overseeing and facilitating a fundraiser that was for several hundred people with the goal of raising several million dollars for a very important cause. And we wanted to make that evening special, so I reached out to Mitch Album, noted author of Tuesdays with Maury, Have a Little Faith, and absolutely my wife and my favorite author. And I asked Mitch if he would come out and he would talk to our group and help inspire them, inspire them to give more, inspire them to become the donors that we so needed in that moment. And he agreed to. And so we worked with Mitch's publicist and he came out. And when he showed up that day, Mitch came and he met me at the door and I walked him back to the green room. And as I was walking him, he could tell something was bothering me. And he said, Rabbi, can I ask you, what is it that's on your mind? You seem to be bothered. And I said, well, Mitch, I want to share with you something. I, you asked that this morning, I actually had a terrible loss. I have an uncle, Uncle Alan. And we all have those people in our lives who are very, very special to us. And Uncle Alan was that person to me. He was somebody that always saw the best in me, who always reached out and helped me become the person I wanted to be. Um, he had gone through many challenges and difficulties in life, and yet he always had this way of giving and showing up and being there for me in ways that were just so meaningful to me in my life. And that morning, unexpectedly, at a very young age, um, he had passed away. And I had compartmentalized it because I had to get through the day, and then I had a red eye that night to fly out. And so Mitch said, you know, I'd love to spend some time and talk to you and your wife. After the event is over, would you be able to sit down and spend some time together? I said, absolutely. So my wife and I met with Mitch afterwards before my flight out. And Mitch said, tell me a little bit about your uncle. And I told him about how he cared for me and how he saw the best in me and how he always had a sense of loving and loving bigger. And I said, one regret that I had was that I don't remember if I ever told him specifically how meaningful he was in my life. And I know that my uncle knew how meaningful he was to me. And I know that he knew how much I loved and I cared for him but I wasn't sure if I had ever actually said it, and that bothered me. And so Mitch looked at me and he said, I have a challenge for you. I want you to think of five additional people in your life who also were those people for you in your life. People who saw you at your best, who drew out the best in you, who cared for you unconditionally, and who loved you. And I thought about it and I came up with those five people. And he said, have you told them yet? Have you told them how much they mean to you? And my challenge to you is before the year is out, make it a point to reach out to those five people. Take a journey and go tell them what they mean. And if you're not sure how to start the conversation, I'm gonna make it really easy for you. You can say to them that you met with Mitch Album, the author, and he's challenged you to go and have this conversation with them because what happened with your Uncle Alan. So I took him up on that. And I went and I actually decided to do it in person. And I traveled and I met with a third grade teacher and a rabbi from my youth. And I met with a mentor who helped me when I was first starting out in business and who believed in me in my philanthropic work. And each conversation was more meaningful than the next. We sat, we cried, and we were able to connect in ways that I uh, cherish um, tremendously, even in this moment. And we went on and continued to do this. And then I got on the phone and I called Mitch back. And I said, Mitch, I got good news for you. I met the five people, I shared the story. And he said, that's great. He said, now Rabbi, can I offer you a second challenge? I said, what is that challenge, Mitch? He said, now I want you to make a list of five people. Not the five people who were most influential in your life. Who are the five people that you are choosing to be influential in their life? To whom are you, Uncle Alan? To whom can you love bigger? Can you reach out to? Can you influence their lives in meaningful ways? Can you be the person that sees them in the way that Uncle Alan saw you? Well, that was a fantastic challenge and I have done that. One thing I haven't done, Mitch, is tell you that 
you are a person who actually had tremendous influence in that one hour, in that brief conversation. It changed the trajectory of my life in very meaningful ways. I share that story because at this moment, we find ourselves in an unusual situation. We're looking for purpose, we're looking to journey forward, and yet we find ourselves confined spatially to uh, quarantines and to a world that is on pause and on shutdown. But maybe this is a fantastic opportunity, and I would like to share Mitch's challenge back with you, that we now have the freedom to. We have the freedom to think about the five people who were most influential in our lives. People who may not even know the impact that they had or the warmth and the love and the caring that we carry in our heart today. Let's not wait till it's too late. So my invitation to you is to join me on this journey. Reach out to those five people again. Reach out to people in your world and tell them. Now, yes, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So here's my suggestion. If you want, you could share this video with them. If you want, you could share the story of Mitch Album and my Uncle Alan. Whatever that context is, reach out and tell those people how meaningful they were to you. And I promise you, it's going to be a very unique experience for you. And then I also suggest that you make a list of people to whom you can be that person, to whom you can love bigger, to whom you can be their Uncle Alan. Because regardless of your station in life or where you find yourself, I promise you that God, destiny, the universe has put into your life the very unique people that they are waiting for you to be their champion and to be that person in their lives. As we journey from Passover to the holiday of receiving of the Torah, as we journey in becoming the people we wanna be in this world, this is the most opportune time we have to truly become those people. I so look forward to seeing everybody in the coming weeks once the quarantine is lifted. And I want you to know that you are very important to me and I look forward to growing and to becoming the people we wanna to be together. Shabbat Shalom, wishing everybody a safe, healthy, and wonderful week ahead.